thanks for joining me tonight. Hope you are having a peaceful evening. This evening I am folding what remains to be the last of my laundry and just right here. There's always hair. I'm folding what remains to be the last of my clean laundry that I didn't get to from yesterday and I am refilling my pill pack because I've got only a couple days left in my pills and my medication and when it gets down to two or three days worth of pills, I get very anxious. So I'll do that with you guys so you can see what I take and everything. And we'll just chat and hang out. You guys can keep me company while I just do kind of boring, you know, um, chores. up on that sort of dumb stuff. It's normally kind of dull. So today I filmed some other stuff. So it's just workout or undershirt type tank tops here. There are pretty much left. So they're falling apart. You guys have shirts like this that you just wear over and over again. I have a lot of these kind of tank tops, the long skinny ones, you know. This one you can like practically see through. <laughs> it's so well loved. <laughs> anyway, so um, earlier today I filmed um, picking um, my muscadine grapes and I don't think I will have it in this video any of it in this video will be from in another video but um oh my gosh I'm like really tired right now I guess it was in the time that I spent in the sun I don't as you can see I'm like super pale um so I was spending a lot of time out in the sun today probably be sunburned on my the back of my neck, um, maybe a little bit on my arms, I don't know, I guess maybe not on my arms, but the back of my neck probably got it, because I had my, I didn't have my hair up in my usual bun, but I had my hair up in a ponytail, and, um, oh my gosh, the sun was like out in full force. When I was doing that, it is such a big job picking those grapes. I didn't make, I didn't make a dent. It is so overwhelming. That is one thing I can grow and grow well. Pineapples and grapes. Oh, somebody is on their motorcycle acting like a big shot. <laughs> I don't know if 
actually it's not a motorcycle it sounds like um one of those hybrid things there's a lot of people in my neighborhood that ride those it's not like a moped like a crotch rocket thing it, um it's like those do you know what i'm talking about it's like those bicycles with motors have you seen those it's like what's the point <laughs> if you're gonna ride a bicycle just ride a bicycle but don't put a motor on it but i guess maybe it's a more um affordable way of getting around fast i don't know maybe you can buy a refurbished motor for cheap I would think that mopeds probably aren't very expensive. Oh my gosh, there's more hair. See, this is why I never wear my hair down. I get my hairs on everything. Everything. And I have, oh my gosh. There's a siren. Oh, I hope it's not that moped guy. sort of close to a busy street and also I live close to a busy street sort of close to a busy street so like a busy intersection and also close to close to a fire station and um, close to a police station, so there's always like emergency response vehicle noises. So there's really not a, an ideal time for me to record. You're always going to be hearing sirens. <laughs> it's unavoidable. That and you'll hear the train. I think the train is a soothing noise though. I love the train noise and I think it would bother me if I didn't hear the train. When I first moved, I don't even hear the noise anymore. When I first moved to my house, I was, you know, cognizant of it, but now it's just like, I, I'm not even aware of it. When I play back my recordings though, I notice it in the recordings, I'm like, oh, yeah, people, I guess people will notice, but, um, you know, I always use match socks. It's probably from, it probably meets to the other mismatched socks from yesterday so that's the mystery there so all right that takes care of that okay so let's move on to medication conditioning turned up to 81 degrees and still the air conditioning is turning on so I apologize for that if that is a distracting noise
Here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. And I cleared out the laundry that we were folding. So now hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. So now we will be able to refill my medication in my weekly pill organizer. So I will not be so anxious when I look at it tomorrow morning when I'm taking my pills. So, um, one of the things that I won't be um, putting in the pill pack is my CBD capsules because I take them throughout the day and I actually just reordered these today because I am running low and I actually reordered a stronger strain of them. I take the full spectrum CBD from I get from I order from Lazarus Naturals and this is the bottle right here. This is 25 milligrams of CBD per capsule. You can get, you know, the tincture oil and a lot of people prefer taking the tincture oil because you can mix it in food, but I like the capsules. I am so uh, like clockwork with my psych meds, with my psych meds that, um, I really prefer taking the capsules and the capsules are there's no taste and really no smell or anything and uh, with full spectrum it does contain some THC so they do sell CBD I'm not doing like a you know uh, you know I'm not pushing this particular company or anything it's a good company but I, I have no game, I have no skin in the game <laughs> or anything for this particular company. They're a really good company and they do this discount program for people with disabilities and also for people in active military and veterans. So if you are interested in getting a discount, they do that. But. Um, I just think that's great because it's so expensive otherwise it's really unaffordable otherwise but anyway um so I was taking around 100 milligrams a day but I am closer to like 200 milligrams a day now and um, I was also I, I also had this uh, these tiny little this tiny little bottle here uh, only contains four little pills and they have a hundred milligrams in them each and I just love this tiny little bottle <laughs> it's like my in case of emergency bottle for when I'm uh, the days that I have panic attacks and um, or that I feel like I'm going to have a panic attack and um, so far I've only taken one um, because this is like a really expensive bottle but um, I actually had to take one this last Sunday and I had already taken a lot of these pills and so I took one of these and one of these um, and I still felt like I could take more I was having a really really bad day um, I just looked at the result uh, with the at the results at the directions. It says for adults, take one capsule. May take two hours or full effect. Take more as needed. Do not exceed three hundred milligrams per day. Wonder why. If your doctor warns you against eating grapefruit, you should avoid taking large amounts of CBD. One of my meds, my, I think my antipsychotic has a grapefruit warning as well. 
I wonder what the connection is with the grapefruit. Anyway, this little bottle makes me think of Alice in Wonderland, you know, like the eat me, drink me bottles that she has in front of, doesn't that make you think of it? Like where she grows like really big, like, I don't know, it's a stopper, I think, the cork stopper. That's what it makes me think of. Anyway, I just love, love it. Okay, all right, enough fooling around. So, all right, so I've got two. This is a really old, I need to get a new one of these because it's starting to fall apart. Okay, so I don't mind telling you everything that I take because this channel is about honesty and being real and talking about my real life. I don't mind um, sharing my life with you guys and I'm not here to make a pretty, you know, I don't know. I'm not trying to hide anything. So. So. Alright, so I take a daily probiotic. That's not anything unusual. I think most people take probiotics nowadays. You know, we eat pro probiotics in our, you know, probiotic food. We want, um, you know, yogurt and um, kimchi and um, what else? Um, uh, kefir and, or kefir, I think some people pronounce it like that. Or um, what else? Kombucha, um, sauerkraut, I know there's more. I just am at a loss right now. In the comments, you can tell me what I'm forgetting. I know I'm forgetting stuff. I know there's something of the sea that I'm forgetting. Something, okay. So I take that in the morning, probiotic. Got that. Okay. All right. Take to topiramate, and that is prescribed to me as a mood stabilizer. I am diagnosed as a type one bipolar. Um, bipolar type 1 is um, so uh, bipolar type 1 means that I have manic episodes as well as depressive episodes if you're not familiar so um, topiramate is normally prescribed well it's it's used for many different things um, a lot of um, psychiatric medications are used for like, a lot of different things. So it's for, for this particular situation, it's used for that. So I've been on this and I take it twice a day. I take it in the morning and I take it in the evening. Mm. I've been on Topiramate for, mm, I don't know, since 20, I, I guess since I was diagnosed um, and they have finally figured out my medication. Oh, it was a rough going um, until they figured out my medication. I think they figured out my medication in 2015, no, 2015, 2016, around that time, 20, 
the beginning of 2016. 2016. 2015. Yeah, I was severely depressed in 2015. I had a severe depressive episode. I've only had one like major depressive episode. I've had more manic episodes than depressive episodes. Um, I've also had psycho psychotic episodes. Um, so I'm type one bipolar with uh, reoccurring manic episodes and reoccurring psychotic episodes. So, um, oh, my doggie just came out. Uh, you can't see her, but she just, she's running around. I have a cockapoo. Her name is Ella. Hi, Ella. Hi. Hi, baby. I'd pick her up right now, but we're handling pills with gloves. So, oh, she just went back in the room to go to bed or something. She's, all right, now she's just standing there looking at me like I'm crazy all right anyway okay so um and then all right so moving on from that um da, 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 da. okay also i take to prevent de the depressive episodes from reoccurring i take wellbutrin as an antidepressant I take that in the morning Takes care of the morning it's done. Okay, now we have evenings. Where you did that? I just need I already did that one. That's ibuprofen. I very rarely take ibuprofen because um, of the liver damage um, indication. Um, the amount of psych meds that I'm on, there's like liver damage warning like all over the place with the psych meds and ibuprofen has like liver damage warning. I, I know that you know, you have to take a lot of ibuprofen to really damage your liver, but in combination with psych meds and, you know, I only take ibuprofen when I'm like in like so much pain that I can't think about anything else. So I very, very, very rarely take ibuprofen. I used to be an ibuprofen IB, ibuprofen, ibuprofen, I, I don't know, how do you say it, how do you guys say it, um, I used to be a junkie for this stuff, but not anymore, also since I've been taking this CBD oil, my um, aches and pains, my, like in my joints and stuff, have really, really, really improved, and that's like, I mean, that's really saying something, because I used to be really, really achy, but also, like, I used to have a really serious problem with over-exercise. I used to be a runner, and I used to be severely addicted to running. I don't run anymore. I gave up running a while ago. The only exercise I do now is just walking. And um, I used to force myself to run. I would run, like, 10 miles a day and I did that for years and years and years and years um, 
running, you know, 10, 12 miles a day, and I had to do it uh, at the expense of, you know, family relationships, um, appointments, everything. Um, I would run injured. I I had um, I would break bones. I broke both heel bones. I broke my hip. Um, just all kinds of things. Um, it, it damaged my my former marriage. It was bad. My my relationship with exercise was really 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 unhealthy. But anyway, um, so quitting running was really healthy for me. But. Even after I quit running, I really, really, because of the, all the damage I did to my joints and my bones and my tendons and everything, I was still in pain all the time. So, um, we are looking for my other, my second dose of Wellbutrin. So, I don't go into severe depressive mode. Oh, also, um, you know, uh, with, with bipolar disorder... It's, it's, you know, for me, my, my moods are like cycle, like seasonally, but you know, um, and it helps like summertime, you know, I, I tend to, uh, wax happier or more up, um, but also not necessarily happier um also can have like more anxiety be more irritable um have to watch out for mania in the summer and, um and also have to watch out for depression in the winter uh, so i have to be more cautious <laughs> um it, it's less about being like happier in the summer and more about being more cautious about mania or mixed episodes in the summer um, not to be like so negative about everything but it's about like managing managing the disease you know like being proactive about it but because you know like I don't want to be like oh pills solve everything like psych meds solve everything because they really don't like with the CBD oil, like my my goal is to dial back the psych the psych meds that I'm on. Um, I've already started doing that and working with my psychiatrist as far as the antipsychotic that I'm on. We've dialed it back, way way back, and um, I am on much less, and it's like a minuscule amount. So I actually didn't even bring that bottle out, but I'm on Latuda, um, so I don't even have that bottle to show you, but I'm on just a teeny tiny amount compared to what I was on before, and uh, that's been a while now because I'm on such a high CBD dose, and that has been fine. So, um, okay, where is that other... Yes, these are it. Okay. This is the smaller dose here. So, besides homeopathically treating everything, um, not everything, um, homeopathically wanting to homeopathically treat uh, with CBD oil. I mentioned, did I mention the therapy? I might have at the beginning of the video. I'm in twice weekly therapy. One is one-on-one uh, -on -one with uh, my primary therapist. Um, 
and also, you know, I have a regular psychiatrist, obviously, who does my medication management, but um, also I do uh, uh, intensive group therapy, and um, that's actually done um, over the internet. It's, it's really cool. It's the first time I've ever done this. It's virtual, virtual outpatient therapy, and it's like... Um, it's HIPAA compliant, and it's call, it's done through a program called called Zoom, and it's kind of like Skype, but it's like really cool. It's um, I don't know, like if you've ever if you have worked like in you know a business like setting, it's like kind of like go to meeting or something like that, as uh, so like a similar program. Um, but HIPAA compliant, so um, like a, like a medication or um, like a medical type, you know, setting. Um, but so it's you know face to face, you know. But you see like all little you know Brady Bunch type squares of people that are in attendance of the meeting. So it's almost like, but it's like a little semicircle like group kind of thing of people. That are in attendance of the in the group, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but it's really cool. And um, you would think that not being physically present in the actual group, you would feel disconnected, or um, that it, you'd be easily distracted. You, you'd be disengaged or you wouldn't get a whole lot out of it but oh my gosh I feel so connected and I look forward to these <laughs> group meetings and I, I become so weirdly emotional during these sessions and I'm not like normally like I normally bottle up my emotions um as a bipolar person like I'm like constantly trying to like <sighs> because I feel so much I'm like constantly monitoring like how like how I express myself because I'm always like feeling like too much like I'm I, like my my feelings are just so extreme and explosive um uh, since I've been on medic medication though it's it's helped me like a lot um you know kind of t dampen down you know those those feelings and those emotions but I still you know become very irritable and things like that but um being able to express, you know, my emotions appropriately is is difficult, and being able to communicate that is is also difficult. Being able to communicate it appro appropriately, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, to others, I guess, and, and and it's also really difficult for me to talk to people. Really, really difficult for me to talk to people. Um, I'm like really scared of people <laughs> in real life. <laughs> so, um, it's a huge deal. It, this, this group is a huge, it's enormously impactful. So this week... This week was canceled, this meeting, um, because the therapists are based out of West Palm, is where the, it's Renfrew. Um, and it's, the therapists are, are based out of their main, headquarters in West Palm and they had severe weather so they had to cancel it this week so it normally wouldn't be a big deal except for my therapist also canceled because she was rushed to the ER 
like two hours before a session with kidney stones. So I've had like no therapy all week. And it's, it's been okay. It's just been like a weird week. It's like a little stressful. So, and like, I'm having my internet switched to a different provider and I'm just like really stressed out about that because I normally don't have people like come over to my house and it's going to be like this weird, strange, random stranger like c coming into my home and I'm just like really stressed out about it. So, eh. So at least I get to tell you guys about it. Anyway, thank you for joining me tonight and sitting here doing something boring with me. I filled in my, um, not filled in, I guess filled in. Um, did this, put my, got my, um, psych meds oh my refrigerator just made a weird noise sound like somebody was knocking from inside the refrigerator it made me think of the like original ghostbusters you know like when there was like a demon or something like in the refrigerator what was that zool <laughs> anyway <laughs> and then the eggs like on the counter started like cooking because the lady was like unpacking her groceries Oh my gosh, that like makes me want to watch Ghostbusters. I wonder if that's still on Netflix. I think it was available on Netflix. I don't know. You think that like I would like want to watch Stranger Things because like I loved the Ghostbuster movies, but I cannot for the life of me get into Stranger Things. I'm like the one person that is just like so not interested in that. Anyway. I am so, like, rambling right now. Okay, this video has gotten way too long and just spiraled to just too many random topics. And all I was doing was just this one little thing. Plus, I have to pee, so I'm going to go. All right, I hope you guys have a good night. I will see you in the next video, and hopefully it is not so just all over the place. And... Next time we will talk about um, my this this thing here. Next time we will talk about this that I ordered from Amazon. Yes, yes. Next time we will talk about this. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Have a great night.